wanted to show you something else that I'm working on. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is more advanced. Um, it's just I, I have I have different levels of projects that I'm working on, and um, as I'm sure some of you can understand, I, I have I'll work on this and I'll work on that, and um, I'm fine with that unless I have some sort of a project with a deadline. I I like to go with what I'm in the mood to create. So um, I want to show you this because this I um, I'm planning to put uh, a digital kit in our shop for this for a download. This is um, a tall skinny journal. I've already got it bound but I thought I'd show you. Um, I used a um, recycled hanging file folder for the cover and with some fabric on the spine to reinforce it and um, to cover up the stitches from the binding. Got it bound with our usual three hole pamphlet stitch which we we tend to use a lot for binding our, our journals. But let me just show you um, what's in this particular journal. It's tall, tall skinny journal. I really, I like this style a lot and I like, um, I like what I put together with these, with um, these papers. So here it is. I'll flip through it. This music sheet is some that I got from uh, a local friend, very much appreciated. So I incorporated that in there. So that's not that would not be um, in the kit necessarily. Um, I mean, I could check and see what the copyright is on it, and I could probably scan it and include it. But you know what? This is something. Uh, this is something for you to have on your list of things to look for when you go. To Ooh, did you hear that? Um, it's storming here. Um, when you go to thrift stores, something to look for is old music paper. It adds a lot to, to journals. So here's what's in here. And the second side, because I designed them with half, half one thing, half another. So the second half is actually different in this case than the first one. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I like it. It's got some some like old wallpaper, all old um, wallpaper, tapestry, document kind of things in it. So that is the journal itself. And I also have um, designed a tall pocket set to fit in here. So um, I've already got it cut out. This would be, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I don't know if I will include it with the paper kit or if I'll do it separately. We'll see. But here it is. I've already got it cut out. And I thought I would show you a video of putting it together. So I'm going to sit while I do this. Okay, let me move this temporarily out of the way. Let me get a piece of paper for gluing on because I think for this, this is the base piece. Make sure you can see. This is the base piece and this gets glued on top. So I think what I'm gonna do is use glue stick for this. really well up on the edges Get my glue sheet out of the way I use I like to use like junk mail catalogs and magazines for for glue papers um, just keeps everything a little neater okay so then I'll put this on here that's that layer and like I said, I've got these, I've got them come out, cut out, and I've already done the folding, like Reese showed you how to fold on the pockets. So then the next thing is to glue this down. For this, I'm going to use the art glitter glue instead of the glue stick. It's a little more precise for where we want to put the glue. So I'll put the glue on there two sides and the bottom. 
that gets glued onto the bottom here. And I have it not quite, if you can see, I have it not quite to the bottom here. Um, I could have had it up. I could have moved this up. You can position it however you like, but this is basically the, the order of it. Now this, this I need to decide. Um, are we going to include this as, you know what, I'm going to glue this down and then I'll glue the pocket on top of it. You could also, if you wanted, you could glue this as part of the pocket, like glue the flaps to this piece and make it a pocket that way. It's entirely up to you, whatever, whichever way you prefer. Um, but like I said, I think I'm gonna yeah, let me get my blue paper. Put glue stick on that. Center that as best I can. That looks pretty good. And last but not least, um, this piece is kind of fun. This is actually, let me make sure you can see it. Hope you can see it. Um, this is actually an old map of New York City. This part of the pocket. Some glue on flaps again, like we showed you how. Super easy. I am going to put this flap on the top. Um, it's not necessary. It can be put down in whatever order. But if you put if you put this bottom flap on the top, it could make things easier to slide in and out of the pocket later. No big deal, but it's just something that, that we do. All right, and scoot that up to make sure you can see, and I'll position that on top of that. Try to make sure it's reasonably straight. There it is. Okay, and then this, there would be a pocket here and a little pocket here for something smaller. Uh, what do we have that's smaller? I can use one of these that Reese made. Like that. Okay, so now next thing to do is to glue this into the bigger journal. Where should we put it? Let's choose a page. Um, you know what? I think it would look good on this music page, wouldn't it? there okay now you have the option and you know I think I might do this you can glue it down completely put put glue all over the back of this and glue it down or uh, what I think I'm gonna do is make a side pocket out of it so that means that I will be gluing here here and here on the back and leaving this side open to put something in there so do our trick of hold the edge that you don't want to glue. Take your glue, put it all around or along the edge of the other three sides. And this is, it's a big pocket so I don't have to make a tiny dot, a bead of glue on there. I can use a pretty generous amount to make sure it's going to stick really well. right on there, make sure it's reasonably straight, and there it is. Okay, and you know what, I am, I'm going to take one of these that we printed from uh, Reese's Altered Paperclip video, and I'm going to stick that right in there. That looks nice. Um, this is actually, these are some dangles that Reese is going to be doing a video about. Um, what else do we have? Let's see if we have something else. Oh, you know what? This might fit. This would be fun. Can fit? Yeah. A little 
packet of the uh, the nighttime organic tea. The I can't remember what's in it. Oat flour, lavender, and lime flour, and it's blue, so it'll actually look nice in there. So stick that right there in that little pocket, and there we go. All right, that's one page of our tall, narrow journal decorated and good to go. All right. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to message us. And thank you very much from Lovely Villain Designs.